Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm talking about the Kodak Luma projectors. These are little battery-powered projectors that you can take just about anywhere. We've got two of them, the Luma 350, which I have here in front of me, and the Luma 150. So what's the same about these projectors is they're battery-powered, they're very portable, they have tripod threads on the bottom. You can see we have a little mini tripod connected here on a tabletop, which is a great way to use them. So both of these projectors have a native resolution of 480p, 854 by 480. Uh, they will accept up to a 1080p signal, however, so you can feed into it pretty easily a Roku, Apple TV, a Blu-ray player, that kind of thing. For sound, they have built-in speakers, which work pretty well, but if you want it a little louder, uh, I'd recommend using the headphone jack in the back, which you can attach to a pair of headphones if you're watching by yourself. Or what I did at home was I connected it to a Bluetooth speaker so everybody could hear really well. So they both have full-size HDMI inputs. It has a USB slot, which is great for photo slideshows. The Luma 150, it's rated at 150 lumens, just like in the title. And because of that, the battery lasts a little longer, lasts about three hours. Something unique about the Luma 150 is that it creates its own Wi-Fi hotspot. What this lets you do on the projector is play files, photos, videos that are on your phone, which makes it ultimately portable. The Luma 350 is rated at 350 lumens, a little brighter, more than twice as bright actually, and it does affect the battery life somewhat. It will work up to two hours. Uh, similarly, you can play while you're charging it from the wall, so you'll be able to watch full-length movies, no problem. There's also a built-in Android operating system, and why this is cool is that you don't need a separate Roku, Fire Stick, or something like that to get to apps like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and you also have access to the Google Play Store if you want to add even more apps for watching stuff. The Luma 350 also comes with this little remote. Uh, both of the projectors have backlit touch controls on the top of the projector too. This just adds a layer of convenience to it. I took the 350 home to show my kids and they just love this. We were projecting movies on the wall. We tried pointing it at the ceiling. Uh, they have a little playhouse in my backyard. We have a projector screen out there for this. It was just so much fun. It added a whole element of, an extra element of fun to their movie nights. So that's the Kodak Luma 150 and 350 projectors. I had a great time bringing them home and playing around with my kids with them. If you have any questions about them or home theater projectors in general, just give us a call.